that there is a tripartite combination of power, of love, and of a sound mind. This is what will totally conquer fear in a man's life. So God has not given you the spirit of fear. But to shield you from the effect of fear, He gives you the spirit of power. He gives you the spirit of love. He gives you the spirit of sound mind. Listen, that means there is a relationship between weakness and fear. If He gives you power, it's because weakness is associated with fear. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There is a relationship between weakness and fear. That every time you are not aware of strength, the reaction is that you can allow fear to find expression. Number two, that there is a revelation of the love of God and love towards men that if you do not sustain, fear will be inevitable. Number three, there is a relationship between a depraved understanding and fear. Look at how God solves the issue of fear. Love, power, sound mind. Do you know, listen, let me tell you this. Fear looks like a very simple issue. But did you know that every other spirit waits for fear to walk? If you reject fear, you can reject every other spirit. The Bible says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Meaning that every spirit is at the mercy of fear. It is fear that has the courage to open the door. That every oppression of darkness that comes to you stands waiting for fear to give them access. And that fear begins to manipulate your understanding. And that if you lack power, you lack love, you lack a sound or an enlightened mind, you will give fear access and with fear every other manifestation. Many people fail in life not necessarily because of ignorance, because of fear. Fear. The fear to take steps, the fear to arise, the fear to minister, the fear to do so many things. That's why when angels appear, the first thing they tell people is fear not. Because they know that the weakness of men wires them to be afraid. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear not. That means that is what is supposed to happen. That every time you are surrounded by uncertainty, the valley of the shadow, not the spirit, the shadow, the similitude of death, meaning that whatever looks like death can cause fear, no matter how real or aberrated it is, the valley of the shadow of death, it causes fear, but it says, I will fear no evil. There is a reason. For thou art with me. I have an understanding of what your presence and your love can do. Listen very carefully. Courage is not the issue of masculinity. It is a product of understanding certain things about God. That the spirit of power is given to men so that they can conquer fear. If you are suddenly told right now <clears throat> that you have the power to cure cancer even at stage 4, maybe a drug, do you know you will no longer be afraid? Is that true? Mm. The information that you hear does something to you and if you do not have the power to resist it, it will cause fear. And when fear enters you, it will destroy everything about your life. So the spirit of fear manipulates your understanding. Manipulates your faculty of expression. How many of you have seen children? Because of their understanding... They do not easily have the fortitude for fear. 
you, you get the point now they are not aware that this can hurt them and so they will come with confidence that means that the moment you are aware of the potential of a thing to destroy you and you are aware that you do not have power over it it will create an unnecessary sense of caution why do we fear poverty because we think we do not have power over it why do we fear death have you seen traditionally that caught themselves and nothing happens a system try to aberrate power and immune them so they can dare the undareable because they are aware that there is some form of power that has given them immunity are we together now when armed robbers go to rob and they rob all kinds of things around them they believe the awareness that there is some power that they have will make them look at you and even stand in front of a gun and then you shoot and nothing happens and they laugh why because something has immune them that means the awareness of lack of power will keep you in fear forever please listen to what i'm teaching you the fear of failure causes failure the fear of limitation causes limitation the fear of weakness causes weakness. The fear of death causes death. The fear of poverty causes poverty. Wasteful spending is bad, but fearful spending is evil. Are you seeing that now? Yes. Notice the degree to which fear controls our life. The moment you are driving, suddenly fear comes. You can die. And all of a sudden, you are confused. A voice speaks to you and says you can die. You have a dream. And in that dream, you see yourself in a coffin. You stand up and all of a sudden, in your own room, you are no longer comfortable. You need somebody else's presence to console you. No voice was heard. Something was done to your mind. But the awareness of power, it says, but the people that do know their God, they shall be strong. Strong power. The awareness that the believer can sustain power over and against the works of darkness can annihilate and destroy fear. Listen, listen to me. Fear has destroyed more people than you can imagine. There are many people who may never rise. There are many families who may never rise. There are many ministers who may never rise because of fear. The fear of death being the greatest of them. I will die. I may die. Job said the thing that I feared most has come upon me. Because fear works like faith. So the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power number two of love there is something about the understanding of the love of god you see the bible says i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness let me talk to you why do people not give what is the reason talk to me If I tell you empty your account now, what do you think is going to happen to you? You say, well, it's not, what's the issue? Why, why should I empty it? I've planned it for something. It's called fear. Fear. Are we together now? Oh, travel from here to Lagos. You say, ah, night boss. This Abuja Kaduna Express where I've, I've had stories around it fear listen very very carefully fear has destroyed a lot of people you cannot rise because you are afraid and the bible says there is something about the knowledge of the love of god you see sometimes we need to really know who god is there are many believers who cannot even rise spiritually because of an aberrated understanding of who god is 
So there is something about the love of God. He says the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. For God so loved the world. Behold what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us. If God who did not spare his son but offered him freely, how much more? Listen, it says, if ye being evil, know how to give good gifts. So a revelation of the love of God can settle your confidence that I know, that I know, that I know that God will back me. That I know, that I know, that I know that God loves me and his interest has been invested upon my life. And then the spirit of a sound mind. When the Lord opened my eyes to this, I said, wow. A sound mind is not just psychological. A sound mind is a spirit. No wonder the madman in Gadara, he was not just mad because he was confused. His talking anyhow was a reflection of his spirit that was at work. And the Bible says when Jesus casted that spirit, they came later and found him sitting with Jesus in his right mind. In his right mind. A sound mind. The word sound here means balanced. It means enlightened. An enlightened mind is a spiritual mind. That you have too much information to just shift you left and right. You are an adult. If I tell you this chair will break, you will not be afraid. Because there is a sound mind. You have an understanding enough to know it was built to take your weight. A sound mind. That means when we do not have an enlightened perception and an understanding, it can create fear. All kinds of fear. Think how many things fear has done in your life. It is a dangerous spirit. It causes bondage. All kinds and all sorts of bondage. There are people today who will never buy a car because of fear. There are people today who will never travel because of fear. There are some of you who will never go to the village because you had a report somewhere. And you say, me and village, God forbid. Fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. But he has given us the spirit of power. Do you know what the spirit of power is? The spirit of power is not just the anointing. No. No. There are two different things. The spirit of power is not the anointing. When Moses was telling Joshua, <laughs> he said, Joshua, be strong and of good courage. That is the spirit of power. Is the daring, the spirit of power is not just an anointing to heal the sick. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It's a grace. It's a spirit that plants faith. That grants you access to confront things. Confront challenges. Be strong, he said. And of good courage. Did the Bible not say be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Every time the Bible is talking about the arsenals of darkness. It says be strong. You need the power, the strength, the capacity. To dare the unbearable. If you will ever rise to be great. 